Hello, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor. With me right now is Turner Hall, Engineering Manager, NPD at GD Energy Products. Mr. Hall spoke with us for a feature running in our March-April issue on technologies that are enabling greater power and efficiency gains at the frac site. Mr. Hall, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So for this feature, we spoke about GD Energy Products' new Thunder 5000 HP pump is your highest horsepower pump at 5,000 horsepower. Um, my first question is, how are you able to generate this much horsepower out of this pump compared to your other offerings? Um, is there anything unique in the design that makes this possible? So the, the pump was designed kind of on a, on a legacy of, of the existing pump and starting really with the, the GD3000 pump that's, that we've had in, out in the field in service for over 20 years now. Um, we use that as the basis for, for this pump design. We learned a lot of things uh, from the field uh, with the GD3000 pump that we in turn carried over to the Thunder 5000. And we were able to generate more, more horsepower because we increased main bearing sizes. We, we, we accounted for the, the horsepower need essentially in the pump. Um, the, the frame itself is a, a welded construction that uh, takes into account the, the stress that the higher rod loads for, for the 5,000 horsepower application. Um, and then also the, the modular design itself of the power end with a, a removable gearbox and a center section that is separate from the frame all play into how we're able to, to cater the pump to the 5,000 horsepower application. Now, GD Energy Products also referenced the 11-inch stroke length and how it offers more gallons per revolution in flow rate capacity compared to the conventional 8-inch stroke length. Uh, could you explain what that means? So stroke length in, in pump terms is how far the plunger moves uh, laterally back and forth as, as the crankshaft turns. So on an 11-inch stroke pump, the, the plunger moves 11 inches forward and then 11 inches back and then an eight inch stroke is eight inches um, accordingly so the the extra stroke length the extra three inches what that gains is more volume uh pumped per revolution compared to an eight inch pump or an eight inch stroke pump so you get a, a roughly 30 percent increase in volume per per stroke at, at equivalent uh crankshaft rpm on an 11 inch stroke pump compared to eight inch stroke pump or Conversely, you could slow the pump down essentially 30% um, compared to an 8-inch stroke pump and get equivalent volume pumped. So that, that is the big, uh, the big positive impact that 11-inch stroke pump has over 8-inch. Now, before uh, commercial launch validation testing took place for this pump, uh, could you talk a little bit about that? Um, what kind of lessons did GD Energy products learn from the validation testing? So what we learned from the validation testing is uh, that higher horsepower generate more heat essentially uh, in the pump compared to a lower horsepower. The, the rod load is uh, the same as, a, as the 2,500 and 3,000 horsepower um, equivalent um, design. And we've, we've learned through our testing that we needed to accommodate for the higher, the higher heat load that's generated at the faster speed to achieve a uh, positive horsepower. So the lessons learned there was we needed to take a look at the lubrication requirements for the power end and make sure that uh, customers are, are providing adequate lead flow and pressure to the gearbox and to the power end to make sure that as we run at those higher speeds that the pump doesn't overheat and that their coolers are sized properly so they can maintain um, a long pump life in the field. So electric fracturing is a hot topic within the industry right now. Uh, what makes the Thunder 5000 HP uh, ideally suited for e-frac operations? Well, number one is the horsepower rating itself. So it gets to uh, a point in that you have a higher horsepower capability. So it helps to reduce the uh, the amount of equipment on location and it pairs well with the electric motors that are being looked at uh, by packagers and customers for, for the e-track application and then also the the flexibility of gear ratio design 
uh, for the for the power end is helps us to cater that pump to particular drivers. So the the five thousand currently has two gearbox ratio options. There, there's the standard seven point five two five ratio, and then we have a new eleven point two three to one ratio that we specifically cater to capture the majority of the electric motor applications that we've seen um, that, that packagers are looking at. So that helps to cater the speed and torque. Uh, capability of the motor to maximize pump uh, pump performance. Well, Mr. Hall, thank you again for taking the time to speak with us today and providing some insight onto the design of this high horsepower pump. Thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor. Please make sure to read our feature on technologies enabling greater power and efficiency gains at the frac site in our March-April issue.